Hello and welcome back to AutoCraft. My name is Alex and we're here in Top Tower today because we're gonna check on some profits. We're gonna go check on our office and see if any profits were left for us. And then we'll talk about a few things that we're gonna do today. Okay, so over here in the office area, we're just gonna peep in here, see if, well, not that. Oh, okay, yep, yep, see, that's what we're here for. We're gonna grab a few extra diamonds there. We're just gonna throw them in here for now. And I actually noticed something that we need to check out. It's something really weird. Over here, as you can see, something, something's happened. Um, I, I don't know, honestly, I have no idea what this is. This is Spawn Island. I mean, I do know that, um, but I don't know what happened to it. Who did this? Uh, now boss does like purple, but so does splashes. So, and I see splashes head down there. A lot of splashes. This has to be her. Maybe the magenta bandit. I don't know. Uh, but something's going on there. Something weird. Not sure. So let me just move on from that. I feel like if I stay too long, I might turn purple myself or can I kill that cow? No, I won't kill the cow. Okay. We're going to move on. We're going to go to boss's base and we're going to check out his tree farm. Before we go there, actually, I need to go to my base and grab some shulker boxes of some stuff. So let's do that real fast. Back over in the city as we fly on in. We're just going to land over here in the storage facility. And over here, I have some bone blocks. And I have four bone block shulker boxes. Um, I do have some black stone. I'm actually going to dye these shoulders before we head over. Because these are just for black stone. Oh, I got, I got organized. I'm all organized toolbox, lit box, which is a light box, uh, some useful stuff, some landscaping, some wood stuff. And this one is for dye. And you can see I have some black dye there. And so I can just go ahead and dye up these shulker boxes for my black stone. I'm gonna put this away and stay organized, put that back in its spot. And where I've been keeping my black stone boxes, it's just kind of on the outside here. Ouch. We'll fly up here and you'll see we have some boxes of black stone just kind of hanging out. It's like my, my storage area. Um, we'll just put this right here like this and one more. Boom. Okay, cool. So we have a few. That one's empty. I think the rest are pretty full and then miscellaneous stuff. Okay. So now that we've done that, now is the time to head over to boss's area. Let's go do it. We are down in boss's base and look at this place. Look, look at Roger. Look at Roger. Just look at him. Look at him. If you guys haven't already, check out boss and check out his YouTube channel and mechanic as well. That's Roger the bee who mechanic has been taken care of and he moved him here to uh say extra safe boss was working with it with that with him on that and we're actually i forgot there's like three levels down there anyway we're up here in boss's area because somewhere around here is a tree farm and this is is it right here yeah so this is actually all his farms the tree farm is one of them you know what i was just thinking that i probably need him to show me how to use this if I'm being real honest with myself. Um, yeah, I don't want to break it. Let me just like try to figure out where I would stand. Uh, maybe somewhere down here. Yeah, yeah, this is probably it, right? Like right there, you would probably plant that's bone meal. Yeah. So what he needed was, that probably dispenses saplings. I'm not really sure. Yeah, it had to be. It has to be, and then bone meal. Now, what feeds the bone meal in? Um... All these hoppers? It's got to be. I'm not sure. Anyway, anyway, I'm confused. I'm just going to let him show me. So later on in the video, we'll meet up with Boss. Because we're actually going to maybe do some building with him. Over in the shopping district, Top Tower is going to get an expansion today. Now, I might just end up building it on my own. Or if he has time, he'll help me. Either way, no big deal. So let's actually head back to the shopping district. I'm back in the shopping district now. And there's one thing I got to show off before we talk about what we're going to do today. And that is this massive tower over here. Now, this is a tower from one of the competing organization, organizations, tough word, here on the server known as Fabageg. They are a member or a group consisting of uh, Mechanic, who you guys have seen in previous videos. Zame, you've seen in previous videos. And then Clumsy, if you guys have not yet to see, but they, uh, they're a group here. And Fabageg stands for something about like wearing armor or something. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Anyway, uh, they built this cool tower here, and they're going to be adding shops in the future. So another competing shop for our tower. Now, we're not worried about them because, well, we're awesome, right? Like we're, we're the best ones in, in the shopping district, and we have an on a one-stop shop tower as it is. So there's no need to even come here because we've already taken care of everything. So uh, members of Autocraft, don't worry about this guy. It's just flashy, okay? Don't worry about that. Worry about this. We're actually going to add a floor or two on this today in this episode. 
and then I'm going to do the landscaping, at least a little bit of it in the water down here, like down in the water area. Um, and then maybe, maybe do some stuff underneath. Not sure, because I think we're going to do a basement in the future. Not sure. Uh, but this is really boss's project for the basement. So we'll see what happens down here. Not sure just yet. But uh, in the meantime, let's take care of that. Oh, actually, before we do that, let's go here into down here, down here. So we have our item exchange where people can come in and swap out their pickaxes or elytras or whatever. Four fresh new ones. It only costs one diamond. And here's the lectern. I just added this. I wanted to make sure I, I capture this on camera. So welcome to Top Tower Gear Swap. Just swap your nearly broken tool for one new one and leave one diamond. Super easy. Obviously, the tool should match what's in there. Um, and then, yeah, you can swap broken elytras. Obviously, it's the only tool that can be broken. And then uh, message me or boss on Discord if we, uh, you know, have any issues. So, yeah, members can walk up and they can just swap out the tool, swap out their elytra for a fresh one, cost one diamond. Super simple. And it saves you a trip from going to, you know, an ender ender, any kind of mob farm or whatever, and to, you know, get experience. It's super fast and easy. Now that's all taken care of, we are going to go ahead and get started on the terraforming down here. We're also going to add a floor or two on top of this tower, hopefully meet up with boss, and then, uh, you know, we'll get, get to working, and then we'll get to talking right after that. So let's go ahead and do this. Okay, we're done with the time lapse. The expansion on top tower is complete, minus decorations and moving some stuff around. But I got Boss here with me, who obviously helped, as you saw from the time lapse. And I hope you liked it. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. So now we're actually going to head straight over to his uh, his base, and we're going to check out that tree farm that I showed you all earlier. He's going to explain how to use it, and then I'll come back here to explain how everything's going to work here in the tower. So um, let's do it, I guess. Yeah, the tree farm. All right, Alex, welcome over to my unfinished base. Uh, as you well know, with my farms in the sky, the tree farm is up there. So let's go ahead and uh, make our way to the top. Making and our way downtown. Bad boy. Sorry to so sing over you. This... Oops. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Yeet. Oh, okay. Uh, this right here is the main platform. So this is where you stand. This is where you AFK. Um, so the first thing that we need to do though, and there's no easy way to get there, you have to use a rocket, is we have to check bone meal levels to bone make meal. sure that the farm will actually work. Um, so right here, there's some chests. Oh. And in these chests, you can see that one's empty, that one's empty. Uh, so we got about almost two double chests worth plus all the hopper lines are filled and all of that so oh, okay that's plenty to uh, show you how to use it so what we're gonna do is actually go back to the main platform level because that's where everything happens you sound like you're a flight attendant giving me directions <laughs> that's actually exactly what i wanted to sound like <laughs> so uh you, you said i stand here or over here nope you'll stand right here basically where you can see this dirt right here. Uh -huh. And so what you do is you choose your saplings. Okay. So uh, for the example, I'll use spruce because that's the wood that I use most. Mm -hmm. And then what we're going to do is from right here, you can actually reach that lever that's between those two sea lanterns. Got it. You're going to turn on the lever and then you're going to hold right click right here. Ooh. And as soon as the tree grows, it gets pushed. The saplings all get shot back directly into my inventory from the dropper to my left. And it just will continue doing this as long as I have saplings and bone meal. If I run out of either one, 
it will stop. Now the one thing I will tell you, and the most important reason why you have to be taught how to use this, is when you're done, let go of right click, wait a few seconds, and then turn off the lever. And what that should prevent is the... Okay, so you're gonna take care of fixing this, and then I'm gonna head over to the shopping district, and I'm going to, to show off the tower a bit. I trust that you'll fix this, so when I come back to AFK, I'll be able to hopefully handle this thing without breaking it again. Yeah, yeah, hopefully. Uh, clearly, I don't even know how to handle it, so we'll see. Yeah, okay. Well, it was good of you to show me. I appreciate that, and uh, I'll make sure to, if I do break it, I'll let you know. Oh, yeah, please do. All right, man. I'll see you. All right, late. And just like that, we're back over at Top Tower. Now, I want to talk about this big open space first. We've added three floors to this thing. This big open space, we have big plans for. It's going to be uh, some sort of tree. And we're going to sell some like greenery, vines, leaves, uh, stuff that I sell kind of underneath the balloon over there. So it's going to be really cool. And we're also going to, um, we'll probably include a few other things. I want to talk about it just yet because we don't, we don't want to give it all away. But we got some plans for this area. And then we have two more floors above this. Now let's fly up to the top floor make this real confusing the top floor is going to become books above because you know books above we're also going to move like the uh, armor and tools weapons all that stuff on this floor as well so it's kind of like a one-stop you know enchant your gear type thing uh, or buy new gear and books or whatever you need and then oh i don't need to go that way dang it all right and back into this floor this one is going to be where we sell well i, I don't want to talk about this floor either we have plans i, I promise you we have plans though and uh, actually i just realized I forgot, yeah, I forgot all of this. The bone blocks I was supposed to be giving to Boss for his farm. He's currently fixing it, and we'll probably AFK there tonight or in the near future. And I actually wanted to go over here because I figured out what this is for. And it's because we've got a new member on the server, and our new member likes uh, purple. And one thing I noticed, well, there's this sign over here, or two signs. And it says, welcome, Brit. We heard you like purple. Is Brit online? Yeah, so Seth Lord Brit. There's a new member, uh, Lego Flame, I talked about before, but I'll uh, be looking for videos from them in the future, and then have fun, and this from Splashes, Lego, and Rustic. And I noticed they had this T, and I don't, I mean, obviously, they want to, you know, pay respects to the Top Tower or something, I'm not really sure, but I had an Ender Chest over here for when I died, or when anybody died, they'd have an Ender Chest to use. I'm actually just going to, oh no, they put carpet there too, okay. Well, let's take this back. Get rid of the carpet. Oh, it's just grass under there. What? No. Oh. Why? Now what do I do? Um. Mm, okay, we'll figure that. We're gonna we're gonna figure this out. Boom! Inner chest right there. So that's what we're doing now. Yeah, we're just leaving inner chest on the uh, crying obsidian shorelines because you know we do what we want. And with that, and that being said, we're gonna end the video right there. I appreciate everybody who watches. As always, hope you guys like the time lapse. In this weird, not weird, but tower, tall tower, skinny, tall tower. And it's kind of weird now. There's so many floors on it. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. We're going to finish things off. It's going to look really cool. When we're all said and done, as you guys already know, it's kind of how we work. So appreciate you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.